Today I'm going to show you how to calibrate your Blue Labs soil pH test pen. And the manufacturer suggests that you calibrate this at least every 30 days to get the most accurate readings from your pen. So welcome to Do It Yourself with Wayne. Our channel is all about teaching you how to do things yourself to save money. We also do tool reviews like this, but it's all uh, things related to things around your home. So if you want to save money, subscribe to our channel, click like on our videos, and we'll help you with saving money. Now let's move on to getting this pen calibrated to get some accurate readings. Now for the instructions on calibrating your test pen, on the back of the pen is instructions on how to calibrate it. Uh, when you purchased your pen, it came in a box like this. Of course, you probably already know you had to open, tear the box apart to find the directions. But up here at the top is instructions for calibrating your pen and the rest of it is just other instructions for using the pen. I would recommend you buy the uh, care kit that, that you can go that can go with the pen. Uh, it has a set of instructions that's printed out that goes with that that also will tell you how to use the pen as well as care and things of that nature. Um, but when you purchase the pen, it will come with these three packages of solutions. One is pH of 4.0, one is pH of 7.0, and you'll use those for calibration. The other one is a uh, probe uh, solution that you use um, to make sure the probe sensor stays moist. We'll show you that here at the end. But you can take these, and what they tell you to do is just tear the package open, stick the probe in there. But you can also, these little vials came with the care kit. You can pour the solution in these if you choose to, just make sure they're good and clean. Uh, so you can do it either way. But like I said, uh, these come with the care kit, not with the, uh, not with the, the probe, just per if you just purchased the probe. All right, so let's move on and uh, get this thing calibrated. Now let's calibrate our Blue Labs pH soil test pen. Uh, first thing you want to do is get a good grip up here at the top and a good grip right in this area and just kind of wiggle it and pull that off. Now this part will have your solution in it that keeps the tip from drying out. You set it somewhere where it won't get turned over and spill your solution. And uh, the bottom needs to be rinsed. Now some of your instructions will tell you to do that, some don't, but I think it's a good idea. So I'm gonna rinse it off a little bit with uh, just some, some tap water here and uh, a good lint-free cloth to dry it off. Now, I've taken my solution of PHP 7.0 and I poured it in this file. My 4.0 is in this file. And what it says do is push the top button for power, turn it on, and kind of wait until the numbers on the display settle down. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, ours has settled down. Now, you put the probe in the 7.0 solution and press the button that says Cal. Press it and hold it. And hope you can see this, but it, the word C-A-L for calibrate showed up in the display. When that shows up, you can release the button and you get zeros to start blinking. And you first you'll just have one and then two, and when you get all four zeros blinking, that is finished calibrating. Now you can take that out of the solution, rinse it again to get that 7.0 solution off of there. Dry your tap water off, then put it in your solution that's 4.0, press calibrate again, hold it. When cow shows up in the display like it just did, you release the cow button, and again, you get zeros blinking. And right now I got two zeros. When it gets to four, I'll take it out, and calibration will be finished. All right, there it's finished. Now at that point, cow shows up in the display, but down here in the bottom right-hand corner, if you're looking at it, there's a little check mark right there. That check mark indicates that the pen has been calibrated. And at this point, you're ready to use it to check the pH of your soil. And now we've only got one thing left to do, and that's to add the storage solution to the pen to make sure the tip stays good and moist. But before we do that, I'd just like to say I'd really, really, really would appreciate it 
If you click like on our video, subscribe to our channel. If you subscribe to our channel, it makes it a lot easier for you to find our other videos. Uh, as you can see, I got raised beds behind me. I just built my number six and uh, I've got blueberries over there. I got a regular garden over here. So we're going to have a lot of gardening videos coming up this summer. I've also got a lot of gardening videos already online and we'll be doing more videos about usage of this tool. So next thing is uh, to add the uh, storage solution to the tip of the pen. And here's how you do that. Grab here, here, and wiggle that to pull it off. I recommend you be careful because I think I stated before that this is glass. Uh, I think it's pretty durable glass, but it is glass. So now, you take this, and I think what I'm going to do is just stick it right there so it'll stay standing up. Try to top off your solution package and pour some of this down in there. Now I'm not going to pour all of it, but I'm going to pour some and I'm going to stick that right there so it doesn't fall over. And I've got too much in here, I can tell that already. But when you put your pen in this part, you want to make sure that this part of the probe is touching the liquid. If it's not, you need to add more. If in my case you got too much, you might want to pour some out. And I'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit of this back into this, this pouch. I don't know that I'll be able to save it, but we'll try to do something. All right, so now it's up to where my fingernail is at. So I just slide it back over the tool. And right there, the tip of the pen is right there, right in the solution, and that's where you want. You just don't want the solution to be lower than the tip. If it's a little higher, that's okay, but just remember if you put too much in here, when you slide this in, it's going to spill out the top. So that's how you put the solution, the storage solution, in the tip of the pen. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything, uh, leave us a comment down below and we'll do our best to answer them. And I'd just like to say thank you for visiting Do It Yourself with Wayne, and we hope you have a great gardening season.